What's up guys, it's Jerish here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some clips of me traveling for my first time ever. And before I say anything else, I just want to say sorry that I haven't uploaded in a long time. It's just that this summer vacation, I'm very busy and also I'm kind of... How do you put this? Easy. Crap. Just to be honest with you guys, I already am in Denmark and I already have a bunch of videos but I still haven't edited them yet because I keep doing stuff all the time. I keep going out, so it's kind of hard for me. Oh, no, that's not really true, because I, I just be playing Roblox and doing other stuff instead of editing my videos. <laughs> but today, I've decided to edit the first video, which is me traveling for my first time. So, yeah, before the video starts, I just want to say that this is, like, one of my first videos where I, like, record something in public, so I was kind of shy on this first video about me traveling. So I will have to voice over the, this whole video basically Cause in most of the videos I recorded I did not talk cause it was too shy But don't worry because in the other videos I already recorded Most of them I was talking in them so it should be okay Cause I'm getting a bit more used to not being shy when recording in public But anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys also enjoyed this video or if you guys are new here But anyways let the video begin First of all we're at the Grant Lee Adam airport as you guys can see we're in the airport in Barbados. Barbados literally has only one airport. And also, as you guys can see, there's Chafet over there. We just passed security and we are now in the waiting area. So there's just a bunch of shops and stuff, as you guys can see. We went into a shop and bought like some drinks but we already had some snacks so we didn't need to buy any and as you guys can see we're just waiting here for our airplane to get ready so just looking outside there's airplanes you can see everything here is pretty cool our airplane was ready so we went outside and there was this bus that came to pick us up and carry us to the plane it was pretty cool as you guys can see then there was also these planes over here and stuff. Can't really see it too good on the camera, but I'll just show you guys that. So we're just gonna get in the bus now. I'm gonna speed up the video real quick. Okay, I'm in the bus now, as you guys can see. And I was holding on to this thing here that you could hold on to. And the bus started to move, so I was just show you guys. It's pretty cool. But compared to the other airports, as you guys will see in the video, Barbios literally has zero planes. As you guys can see, that's our plane there, the British Airways plane. So we're going to be getting on that plane. It's actually very big, but it looks small compared to how it is in real life. We're now getting out, as you guys can see, the door just opened up. So we're just getting out the airplane. You can see we're no boarding the airplane. It's actually so cool. Like, you know, I, I can't even explain. It was so cool to get there on my first train. Well, not first train, but my first time. That's what I meant to say. No, I'm just gonna skip a bit here because there was a lot of people. So I'm gonna just skip a bit of the video real quick. Okay, as you can see, we're no boarding the plane. We're going up on these stairs and they're actually quite high. It was kind of scary to look down from there. But as you can see, you can see how gigantic the engine is, bro. It's so freaking gigantic. As you guys can see, you can see how high we are right now. I told you guys this plane was big compared to how it looked. And here's the engine, it's so freaking big, bro. It's so big. It was so scary. But it was actually so cool. And as you guys can see, there's the door. We get into the plane now. Okay, guys, we just got into the plane. This guy gave me a packet, but I didn't um, show you guys because I didn't want to show his face. But he gave me like um, like wipes or something. One of the people that work there. I know we're just looking for a seat, so I'm just walking around looking for a seat that we're going to be sitting down at. Okay guys, so I found my seat and the people in the plane gave everyone like this pencil case looking thing and when you open it, you could get like a bag with different stuff in it, like headphones, different stuff. So it was pretty cool, the headphones you can get to keep 
So that's pretty cool. The mic doesn't work, but you can hear with them. And you use them to listen to low TV as you guys can see. This is the wipes that the guy gave me when I came into the airplane. Before we go any further into this video, I just want to say something guys. The plane we are on right now is going to be taking us to England and then the next plane after that is going to have a window seat because this plane doesn't have a window seat but the plane that we're going to be taking next to Denmark is going to have a window seat so that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's continue the video. Okay guys, so I'm just getting myself comfy here, put my foot on this thing here and there's this low TV here that you use the headphones to watch on. So we're just gonna be looking for a movie. I know I was trying to tap this, but it's so funny. I was clicking it and it wasn't working. <laughs> but it finally worked. So you click it and then you can look for movies. At first I was gonna watch Doctor Strange, but I meant to look for something else. We got different movies, but I think I know which one I can watch. You look with me on Cinderella. Clifford, the big. Awesome, nice movies here. Dog on Netflix. So yeah, as you guys can see, I pick Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's the movie that I'm gonna be watching. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying the flight. The plane was starting to go off into the sky as you can see, just recording it. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, most of the flight, I would I barely I like watch some parts of the movie, but I sleep throughout most of the flight. So I not gonna have as many clips, but I don't really need too many clips because like all you do in a flight is watch movies, eat food and sleep. So I'm just gonna have a couple of clips, like me eating food and different stuff, but I'm gonna be most of the been throughout the flight and cause I barely watch the movie but I did watch some of the movie or most of it so it's okay guys. But as guys can see we just lift it off. It's so hard to see cause the light is so like bright but we just lift it off. After watching the movie for a while these people came out and they were giving everybody snacks and drinks. Everyone got these onion ring pretzels or whatever i don't really like pretzels but it actually tasted really good and you could pick different drinks but i pick thing called orange, orange lemon twist it tasted really good after eating the snacks and watching some more movies i got some food and it tasted so good it had this fish and rice and then it had this cheesecake and as you can see i destroyed that thing bro it tasted so good we are not landing because like i told you guys i was mostly watching movies and sleeping during this flight the flight was only 8 hours, but it's dark outside because of the time difference. Also, when we were landing, I saw somebody in the seat ahead of me. They do, they were like on a map, so I look on mine and I found like a map where you could see like us traveling, but I found out too late because now we're landing in London right now. So it was too late, but well, I'm not really late because we could see it, but it would have been cooler if we could see us in the ocean and stuff. That would have been more sick. Okay guys, so we're actually landing now. I wasn't sitting by your window seat, so I have to zoom in, but you can still like see the lights and everything outside, so that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so we just got out of the airplane and we are in that little tube that's normally be connected to the airplane door. We're just walking. After getting to the airport, we had to do a bit of walking, but then we found the area we were supposed to go and it had a large line. After getting through the large line, we got to the luggage area, but we don't need our luggage because it's not where we're going to be staying. Then we ended up finding a shopping area where you could buy like food and stuff called MNS. And we ended up buying some stuff that you will see in a later clip, but we had pretty cool stuff here. Then we went to this area where buses and taxis go at the airport and we were waiting for a bus to carry us to our hotel that we are going to be staying in for a night. And as you can see there were some pretty cool buses like double buses or whatever. We ended up having to take a taxi which I forgot to record but as you can see we are at our hotel and it looks pretty good and these are the stuff we bought. They look so yummy and they actually were so good bro. They were so good and the hotel looks nice also. So yeah, 
We woke up the next morning and went to get some breakfast and it was like a buffet. There were so much things you could get. You could get cornflakes, fruit, anything, eggs, whatever you want. There was so much and you could get as much as you wanted. This is what I got for the breakfast part of the meal and it was, uh, it was okay. And this was the drink I got, but I don't remember what it was called, but it was the juice. And then after I ate my food, this is the dessert part of the meal and it was busting. After we were done with breakfast, we waited and we got in the bus, as you can see, we're right outside the hotel. We got in a bus that will take us to the airport, so that's nice. Also, when we were on the bus, I saw this weird mini train next to the airport. We made it to the airport. Then we found ourselves to the area where the security place was or whatever. So we're gonna just do that and then we'll be able to see some pretty cool shops. While we were waiting the security line I see this Harry Potter shop which looks pretty cool even though I'm not a Harry Potter fan and I don't know much about it. We just got past the security line so we're now gonna check out the Harry Potter shop. And this is a pretty cool part here, like, got like these levitating um, posters, um, things, um, they're not levitating but still look really cool. And then this one was even cooler, look, like he's only spinning in pots and stuff. And that was kind of creepy, not gonna lie, but it was cool. So yeah, got some cool stuff at the front there, so now we're gonna go ahead inside. And then here got like different candies and different cool stuff like that like lollipops that look pretty cool then we, oh yeah this part was cool i just remember the gold bars those look pretty good the gold bars i'm not sure what those are probably chocolate or something and then whatever these things here are and then there were these like lollipop whoever things they were pretty cool but i don't know what they are and then some probably close Harry Potter is wearing the thing and just a bunch of Harry Potter stuff so if you like Harry Potter you will like this shop for sure and this weird animal thing some books of Harry Potter if you like um, what, um, buy one and different stuff let's go up there it was super cool Next up we found this store that sells like snacks and different stuff like that as you can see this is like a London, not London I mean England, British type of stuff, keychains and all sorts of stuff. And then we got over here more of those type of stuff and also had like Harry Potter Lego which is pretty cool and like Harry Potter stuff and stuff. I think Harry Potter popular in England or something. Cause they got a lot of Harry Potter stuff. You can see the wands and stuff. And then over here was like the candy and snack part. Got a bunch of cool and funny different snacks that I haven't tried before. These are more like chocolates here, but like on the other side, oh yeah, look at this. So yeah, I had a bunch of cool snacks here. And um, for some reason, the phone started to record sideways, but I guess it's okay, but it looks a little weird. But look at all these snacks. So much good ones. And then I went on to the drink session, and there was a bunch of cool different drinks I've never tried in my life. I ended up picking the Fanta called Fruit Twist, and it tasted alright. After we bought that and looked in a couple other stores, our flight was ready, so we're just heading there. The same camera glitch happened again, but as you guys can see, I was trying to show you guys the airport because there's just like a billion different those same planes. And that's the plane we're going to, we're gonna go in that too there. But there was like a billion different planes and it was so gigantic compared to Barbados like I told you guys. We are getting the plane, but this plane is smaller because it's a commercial plane, so it doesn't have the can the TV and stuff. But we have a window seat, which is pretty nice. We are now inside the plane, and it also has like Wi-Fi or something, but I don't think you can use it. But as you can see, we have a whole window to ourselves. 
this part was so cool because I could actually see out the window and we have our own window seat so it's so cool guys but as you guys can see we are no lifting off you can see what I tell you this is so big compared to Barbados and there's like a billion little planes there bro a billion I mean and look how big England is oh my goodness this is only London this is so cool guys so yeah, it looks so cool on these like clothes. When I got it to them, they look so fluffy and yummy. I just want to eat them and bounce on them. I just want to jump on them. But I will obviously fall through and die if I do that and take a hundred health of fall damage. But you can see all those cars down there. Everything looks so so small. But we were actually so high up, even though everything looks so small. It is so cool, dude. It is actually so cool. Oh, and yeah, that was actually another cool thing. You can like see the shadow from the clothes bringing, like, you can see all the shadow of the clothes on Earth. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, it was very cool to have a window seat all to myself. It was very, very cool. Just past England, like the edge by where the water is. We just past England, and now we're going on to the sea. Also, for some reason, it had windmills in the middle of the ocean for no reason. I don't even know why, but it looked pretty cool. Also, that's the underwater bridge between Sweden and Denmark. The plane is no landing, and also, unfortunately, this is the end of the video because my f the phone ran out of batteries so I didn't get recorded anymore but this is technically the end of the video anyways because I don't really have anything else to record but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe but anyways peace out